Good day everyone and welcome to another video on the pennies and shillings channel. Now in this two-part series I want to talk about an interesting topic when it comes to copper coins specifically, namely color. Now when copper coins are minted they all come out of the mint in a beautiful bright red color, untainted by environmental pollutants, air and human hands. There was an exception to this rule, of course, in the early years, where some denominations were treated to give them a, a completely black finish. The South African quarter penny or farling comes to mind. But this is a topic for another day. Now, over time, environmental factors react with the copper surface, which affects the color as well as the way that light reflects off the coin. The changes can range from a sad, dull brown to really spectacular rainbow-toned beauties. Toned coins used to be avoided by numismatists, but in recent years, the more uniquely toned coins have started to attract a premium. Now, personally, I adore a naturally well-toned copper coin, as it makes the coin unique and special in my view. However, nothing comes close to a brilliant red copper coin, which is a real rarity in itself. Now, grading companies like uh, NGC and PCGS also have special designations for the color of copper coins, depending on the amount of original red that remains. Now, since the color is more of a spectrum, really, they are typically graded as follows. Now, in order to get a red designation, the coin needs to have over 95% of the original red left in the coin. For red, uh, brown or red and brown, there the spectrum is between 5% and 95% of the coin needs to, be, needs to be still red. And then lastly, for all coins that have less than 5% of the original red, they are graded typically as brown. Now until fairly recently, um, November 2003 to be precise, yes, 20 years is recent in the numismatic world, Grading companies were unable to guarantee the grade, which of course includes the color, of copper coins specifically. However, with the new hermetically sealed slabs, such coins are now guaranteed for up to 10 years. And of course, this is great news for copper coins, which are so easily affected by environmental factors. Now, usually, red coins demands a much higher price, and this hooks up with the original untainted mint state designation. The most beautiful tone coins, however, are usually found in the red-brown range. Let's look at a few examples. Now, this 1948 farling, or quarter penny, is an absolute rarity. You simply don't get coins in this condition, um, you know, sp specifically the color. There's almost no browning at all, no toning, no effect. So this is an absolutely brilliant red coin. Um, they usually go brown after this, but um, yeah, so this is a 65 red, a very, very nice, brilliantly red coin. Now this 1947 uh, Farling, I think um, barely made red brown. It has beautiful turning, but it has very, very little of the original red remaining. So this is a red brown, but I want to venture a guess to say that it's it, it was a very close call. This is very, very close to being graded um, just a brown. But as you can see on the reverse, in the fields, there are still a little bit of red remaining that uh, just tips the coin into that uh, 5 to 95% range. Now, this is a brown falling, but even though it's brown, it has a very interesting tone. Um, it's, not, it, it's very uneven in the way in which it turned. Um, of course, and that makes the, makes the coin quite a bit unique. But as you can see, there's absolutely no red remaining on this coin. There's some nice coin luster still. But um, over the years, it has browned. So this is graded as a 63 brown. Now, this 1954 penny, a half penny rather, as you can see, this is clearly a red. Um, it has over 95% of the coin is still uh, Brilliant red, so of course this is a 65 red. Some nice coin luster also on the coin. 
Now earlier when I showed you the uh, quarter penny that was a uh, red brown, um, this 1942 half penny, I think just about missed the cut to be a red. So this is on the other side of the scale. So this is, let's say, around 10% um, browning, but that's enough to put it into the red brown, um, you know, category. Remember, for red brown, anything from 5% to 95% is deemed to be red brown. Still a nice, still a pretty nice coin, beautiful coin still, even though um, it has missed red. Now, just because a coin grades as brown, like this 1945 half penny, it's still a really, really nice coin. Um, just look at that luster. Um, but as you can see, there's no red remaining. So just to complete the discussion, here's a 1954 penny. Um, as you can guess, this is a 63 red. So there we go. This is a rather interesting coin. It has started to blacken around the edges, but um, it's also one of those coins that barely made the red-brown cut. I think the main reason is because of the uh, obverse. As you can see um, on the head of, of, of King George VI, red, there is uh, there's quite a bit of red remaining on, on some parts, which probably just tilted it above that 5% range. Still a nice and beautiful coin, but uh, it is showing its age in terms of toning. So this is a 63 red brown. And then lastly, I want to end off with this 1923 penny. Um, this is an uh, MS66 brown. So um, yeah, even though it's totally black, it still gets the designation of, 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 of brown. So you get uh, brown, you get red brown, and you get red. But um, there's no black. Now, this is one of those coins that uh, that is controversial in terms of why is it so black? Um, how did it come to be this black? And we're going to uh, I'm going to discuss this in more detail in the next video and uh, talk about the processes that went in and the reasons why these coins were blackened to begin with. You, as I was putting the coins away. I uh, I totally forgot uh, to show you this coin. This is a <laughs> by far one of my most beautiful half pennies. So this is a 1952. Um, as you can see, it has beautiful toning. There's blues, there's reds, there's purples. Um, this is what's uh, often referred to as rainbow toning, or I call it rainbow toning. But um, this is a 65 red brown. So um, you can still see some original red. But of course, the part that's no longer red has all these beautiful colors. Now, believe it or not, people used to hate this, but I absolutely, I prefer this. Um, a, a coin has to be very beautifully red before, before I prefer it over a, a very nice coin like this. This is really, really special. Thanks everyone, that concludes this first video in my series on the color of copper coins. I hope you'll watch the second one when it comes out, maybe it's already there, you know, um, on why the mint colored or explicitly colored certain um, coins black. So I hope that, you, uh, that I'll see you there. But thanks very much for watching and uh, keep well and happy collecting.